Hello and welcome to the Scale Modeling Cafe and welcome to another unboxing video. Now, if you saw the one I put up yesterday as I film this, you will uh, know that uh, I'm expecting a parcel from Andy at Antics and you'll know already what's in it, but uh, you may not have seen it. Uh, and uh, even if you have seen the video, you won't have seen the box. So let's open this one up. did order some other goodies as well so we'll have a look at those right always great packaging from Andy some might say too good right got lots of these little polystyrene things that can go everywhere so gotta be quite careful not to make too much of a mess if I can get all this out this is all wrapped up in one big bubble wrap thing. Right, what have we got then? So, almost the final piece in the puzzle. This is the res kit exhaust for the F105 uh, FUD in 172nd scale. I'm collecting all possible bits for the trumpeter kit. The only one that's outstanding now are the pylons. They've just announced the drop tanks and the inner pylons. Uh, the one thing that all modelers are desperate for is the centerline pylon to mount bombs on because it doesn't come in the kit. And that was the standard Vietnam loadout. So we're all waiting for that. Once I get that, that is going to jump up the list for sure. OK, going on from yesterday's video i've got some more brass and goodies so uh, i've got the spinner set for the 109f in 72nd scale for edward i've got what else have i got in here uh right that in a mo i've got the gun barrels and pito set for a 72nd scale 109 uh, this is fgg4 again for that particular kit now um i did order the brass in set for that which is what I would prefer because it comes with all the mountings and it's a like for like replacement um, but a that doesn't come with a pitot and b um, I do like these brass barrels it's just going to be a little bit more complicated trying to load them up barracuda cast I've got some of the aileron mass balances for the 109 these are brilliant so these are cast in uh, a harder resin but the location point for the kit one it's almost a butt joint it's it's not the best design if I'm honest these come with a little plug so you drill a bigger hole and then um, just plug them in well worth it especially if you're transporting models halfway around the world right what else have I got we'll leave that one and that one we'll leave that locked there right um i bought an extra decal sheet uh for 70 second scale 109 uh stab so the kind of headquarters element of the gruppen and Geschwader. um we all know that the edward decals can be a little bit notorious um but this gives lots of options and also for the uh the g's and the k's that are coming along later so i got that i am going to use one scheme from the kit though just to just to see if they've improved that's that right what i've also got here is a master barrel set for a 148 scale hurricane 2c this is because the armor kit is coming and no matter how awesome they're going to be um it ain't going to be as good as brass so i bought that with that kit in mind even though i haven't got the kit yet Okay, I've got a set of decals for 72nd Beaver. I've got an engine for 72nd Beaver. This is from Metallic Details. And Thunderbird Models have done a mask set for a 72nd Beaver. I'm going to have a go at the Airfix Classic kit. Um, I've got one up there. Um, but it's also on my birthday list. 
and the scheme that so I'm going to, there's two that I'm going to do. It's going to get a full rescribe job. Uh, I'm going to detail it up. Um, the scheme that uh, I'm attracted to is uh, this one actually on the cover is the South Vietnamese Air Force one because um, I do want to build up a bit of a 70 second scale Vietnam collection uh, and this is going to be one of them but I thought it'd be quite interesting to tackle an Airfix uh, classic kit in fact hold fire sorry about that postman uh, right where was I yes um, so I was talking about this thing um, uh, as I said it's an old boxing uh, it's got uh, horrendously raised rivets everywhere um, raised panel lines but what I'm going to do is sand all that off it's going to have a full rescribe job and I am going to do the rivets yes they were probably raised on this thing however I think in scale um, excuse me um, in scale I think it's going to look uh, uh, it's going to look much better um, horses for courses so there's that right now for the best bit is this and it's here oh brilliant Right, what we have here is the Edward 109F in 70 second scale in the release dual boxing. So the same as what they did for the S199 kit. And uh, I'd imagine they're going to do that for the, the G2. Um, they might even do G2 slash G4. Um, no doubt there'll be a dual boxing of the G6 as well. And the AS versions and blah, 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 uh, culminating with the case. Uh, now, I do prefer the dual boxings because you get because you get two kits, but um, it uh, it means you can build them on a kind of production line, and uh, it's not too much more effort uh, to do both. I think what I might do with this though is I will film one, uh, and I will sort of learn about the construction as I go along and then I'll do a photo build of the second one and probably um, submit that to some magazine that's out there. Um, that's the plan. But let's have a quick look in the box, shall we? Because it is exciting after all. Right, so um, you're greeted with um, double bag sprues. Uh, here's the clear parts. So... Um, I'd imagine that these sprues are identical, whereas these are have the differences between the Dash 2 and the Dash 4 version. Um, not least, the um, these are the rounded wheel wells and these are the squared off wheel wells. Um, subtle differences there. But uh, yeah, there we go. So that's the uh, clear plastic sprue. Um, you get uh, you get your photo etch, so you get your double sort of coloured photo etch, and then you get your back to brass, which I do like. So well done them. Uh, canopy masks just for the outside, I'm assuming, and then the infamous decal sheet. Now let's just have a look at these, shall we? Now I did use uh, a set of these on the S199. And they were all right, I thought. A uh, little bit translucent on the uh, the roundel colours. Um, as I look at this, it looks well printed in that it's very sharp. Um, let's get my, get my glasses on. Yeah, the green... See, the green and yellow actually seems fairly washed out, which is a real shame. Um, the national markings look really very, very good, actually. But, um, yeah, those sort of yellow markings look a little bit sort of faded and washed out, which is a, which is a real shame. But, um, yeah, there we go. Right, uh more on the video when uh, I eventually get round to uh, to using them though. But we shall see. And then you get an instruction booklet. And I really like this kind of presentation at the front. 
I also actually quite like the advert on the back. These are the uh, gun barrels that I wanted. And um, yeah, they're, uh, uh, I quite like that presentation. And I quite like, it's like, oh, you can get all these extra stuff uh, as well. Uh, a bit unusual, I suppose, having an advert in a instruction booklet. Um, but at the front of this, you've got this research article about the F and then the different variants, which I really like. Um, it it details all the different um all the subtle different variances in the different marks uh, i'm assuming the uh oh here you go he's got everything he's got f0 f1 f2 f3 f4 f5 f6 there we go and that's quite comprehensive isn't it and then you're into your standard sort of edward uh instructions as we go along lots of parts that are not for use on the f variant as you could well imagine on the common sprues. Uh, right, on here then, um, this I just wanted to point out is the in innovation on this kit. So this is the cockpit floor and at the front, it's got this funny kind of doofer here. This is the gear leg mounting uh, arrangement. And uh, if I can just forward wind to the landing gear, bit uh, oh, obviously I've skipped over that because the page is stuck together here we go right so you'll see here that you've got these kind of this is all molded in one these bits here and they sit really snugly in that sort of underfloor bit that's at the front and it sets the angle for the gear legs which is which is really cool now what I'm hoping is they've uh, in the 48th kit, they've over uh, extended the Olus. They're kind of in flight. Um, so when you um, build the model, it's got this weird tiptoe kind of stance. I'm hoping they've sorted it out for this one. We'll have a look um, because all the 48th ones, what you have to do is you have to go ahead and uh, you have to go ahead and shorten that Olio, which can be a little bit tricky. But um, yeah, we'll have a look on that. If it's the same as the S199, you shouldn't have to do that. Um, so I'm hoping uh, that, uh, that that's sorted. The schemes that caught my eye, um, bland, all over desert. No, thanks very much. Um, interesting, but yeah, no thanks. I do like modeling. Um, I do love JG54, but two-tone all over green it's all a bit bland um one that uh, i do like is uh, this one which is either graf or grislavski yeah it's graf so i like that one lots of yellow lots of mottling we like that so i might be doing that one uh now there were some calls for me to do a winter whitewash so uh, i really quite fancy doing that one as well which is hans eckard bob uh, both of which i've done in 48th in the past um, so they were the ones that uh, immediately sort of jumped out at me. But we shall see. There we go. So uh, an exciting box. I'm glad it's uh, arrived in the nick of time because I'm flying off tomorrow morning. Um, and uh, I guess my next video will be, uh, well, there's more videos to come on the channel. But uh, I am going to do a sprue tour on this when I get back. There we go. And I'll try and get that one out um, as soon as I can. So look out for that one and uh, I'll see you soon. Cheers. Bye bye.